Hi, I'm here with Martine Wallet, uh, Several Nines partner uh, from Optima Data in the Benelux region. Um, this week we've been talking about uh, Postgres all week and Optima Data uh, is our Postgres experts. Um, so you've been an active supporter in your region for Postgres. Uh, you know, why do you like using it with your clients? Thanks Forrest. We are indeed experts on PostgreSQL. First of all, it's free to use, but more than that, it's just a great platform. It offers ease of use, performance, concurrency, and scalability. PostgreSQL is robust, high quality software supported by automated testing for both features and concurrency. That's great. Also, by default, the database providers provides strong disk write guarantees. The developers and contributors to the project take the risk of data loss very seriously in everything they do. You can trade robustness for performance, but that's not enabled by default. I could, could go on for hours about PostgreSQL. Once you tried it, you don't want anything else. Well, when do you decide to recommend Postgres to your clients? When is it a good fit? Well, PostgreSQL is known for its high concurrent design. Readers and writers don't block each other. So for highly concurrent applications, I would definitely recommend Postgres. For the more lightweight applications like websites or blogs, a database platform like MySQL would probably be good enough. Postgres is also widely regarded as a perfect alternative for Oracle. Some say it's even better. And as Postgres supports many kinds of data models like key value store, JSON, XML, and others, it makes also a good competitor for MongoDB and SQL Server. And let's not forget that it's basically free. So for companies with great IDs but less budget, it's a perfect database. Excellent. Well, uh, Cluster Control doesn't yet offer end-to-end -end support for Postgres. Uh, what are your thoughts on what was included in the recent version? The newest additions in release 142 of Cluster Control are a great step forward. The automated failover handling is, from my point of view, a key feature and, for me, an important reason to advise Cluster Control to our customers. But also, the deployment of an entire application, replication topology through the new wizard is a good consideration. I've been using it a few times already, and it's a real advantage compared to other deployment methods. Also, the monitoring has improved compared to earlier versions of uh, Crystal Control. Of course, there's always something more to wish for, and I can't wait to see what's in the next release of Crystal Control. Me too. So, uh, where do you see the future of Postgres going? What should we be keeping our eye on? Oh, well, that's a great question. Last week, I was at the Postgres conference in the UK, PG Day UK. And they had to talk about the features in Postgres 10. Version 10 is now in beta. It will be, will be released in the last quarter of this, this year. The new version contains multiple features. It will allow users to both scale out and scale up their PostgreSQL infrastructure. It's about features like logical replication, native table partitioning, additional query parallelism enhancements, quorum commit for synchronous replication, and those are just a few. There's so much more. If people want to know more, just give me a call. All in all, the future of Postgres is very bright, in my opinion. Excellent. Well, thank you for joining me, Martine. Good luck. Have a great day. Same to you. Bye.